to use animation on about everything. It just makes it look different. Now, the man behind some of the Metro's most famous animated Christmas light displays is back at it again. He created Blue Springs Chicago Streetlights, Buckner's Holiday Display. He even helped Christmas in the Park get off the ground. I'm Lauren Halifax. I'm Kevin Barry. Now it was the neighbor's Christmas spirit that helped get Steve Steiner out of retirement. Fox Wars Dave DeMarco takes us to Blue Springs Chapman Farms neighborhood to introduce us now to his young apprentice. Hey, we're right off Missouri Highway 7, just north of Colburn Road, and there's nearly three dozen of these animated displays here throughout the neighborhood, each with a personal connection to the homeowner. If your family was a fan of Christmas lights, chances are you made it out to Chicago Street in Blue Springs. Actually, a few times a year, we would drive through and really slow, really packed, really busy. But Chicago Street, it was a destination point. We had, you know, several hundred thousand people see it through the years. But after 32 years, a decade ago, Steve Steiner gave his display to the city of Buckner, Missouri. And I thought I was out of that phase. I said, Lord, um, I'm out of it. Then in 2017, he moved to Chapman Farms, a subdivision where he said almost every rooftop was lined with lights. So he decided to make one more display in front of his home. Kimberly Clark immediately recognized the man behind the Chicago street lights must be living in her neighborhood. The way that they move, what he could do with the lights, how he makes them work, I just, I yeah, I couldn't believe it. Then the next year I start getting requests and then I had, I said, I, I'm going to have to get some help. And when it comes to animated lights, really two really heads nice are better than personal. one. So this is supposed to represent someone from Sporting KC and what's happening here is he's headbutting the ball. Last year, he recruited then 13 year old Braden, a team from the neighborhood who seemed to take special interest. He's very smart. He's very creative, too, because we'd brainstorm. He'd give me some, oh, a fountain. Oh, we could do that. They've created scenes from Harry Potter, Star Wars, and Kansas City and the Chiefs. Each takes about three or four days. This year, we put together another 12, 13 scenes, so, and I've got a waiting list now. Already, if I counted 13 more already as of last night. Now it seems the man with a legacy of Metro Lights has passed the ball to someone 55 years his younger. Plans to carry on for decades himself. We tell stories out here, so I think I will, just to really inspire people and show them what tr Christmas is like. Now again, we are right off Highway 7. If you do come out here, you're probably going to want to pick up one of these flyers here so you don't miss any of these displays that they got out here that we weren't able to 